Hello, 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 and welcome back to the channel. The name is Chev, also known as the Furious Chicken, and I am so glad you're back because today we're gonna talk about tips, tricks, and hacks on how you can improve your win rate. All of these strategies are based on my experience playing bronze and silver league, especially in the modern format. So if you play those formats and those leagues in a regular basis, this video could be for you. In this series, we are talking about specific rule set, and for today, we will be talking about Armored Up. Before the end of this video, you will learn everything you need to know on what to do when you get this rule set Armored Up, how to take advantage of it, how to maximize your damage potential, as well as how to potentially win most of your games. Now, I'm not offering you 100% win rate, but I can assure you that your win rate will go up if ever you try to employ these strategies okay first things first let's talk about the rule set what does armored up do armored up gives monsters an additional two armor stat yes if your monster do not have an armor it only gets zero i mean it gets two if it ha already has armor it will just add an additional two on top of that now this is not compatible with the other rule set that removes all armor. Um, it should be here as well. There, unprotected. Because this one removes armor from all monsters and all buffs and abilities that provides armor are ignored. Armor that works well with uh, re with the uh, protect ability like wave smith because two plus two is four and more armor is fun. Question it, what is armor for? Well, armor is awesome against melee and range attackers. Your monsters, mostly in the back line that are super squishy because they deal a lot of damage, can easily be taken out by your opponent's sneakers or opportunists. Sneakers hit the back line, opportunists hit the monster with the lowest HP. But if your monsters are protected with armor, they will be able to survive and deal the damage that they want to deal. So this is an awesome defensive strategy that will give you a leeway to field lesser HP and more damage dealing monsters than how you would normally do. We call them glass cannons because they deal a lot of damage but their HP is way too low. Some of them that I can think of are... The melee monster uh, spy assassin. That is a uh, I'm not sorry. Uh, <laughs> serpentine spy. I mean serpentine spy. Uh, let me show you. Serpentine spy, right? Serpentine spy is an awesome damage dealer. Problem is that it only has one HP. So if your opponent is faster and they have the opportunity ability, they will die most likely before they can even deal damage. So it's the same strategy for some other cards. Uh, one good example is uh, Pelikur, Con Pelikur Ar Arbalist. I'm gonna show you. Arbalist. There you go, Pelikur Arbalist, right? It has two damage and it's double strike, so it hits twice, but it only has two HP and it has an atrocious speed for a six mana card. It's mainly a damage dealer. So you would want to protect it because there's a big possibility for it to die right away. This is an opportunity for you to field these kinds of monsters that has high offensive damage um, but low HP since they will be protected by the rule set. Use it to your advantage, okay? Now, what abilities works well in this, in this rule set? Well, there is this ability, my friends, called Rust, okay? Not a lot uses it. Because right now, especially in the modern league, there's not a lot of monsters that has the rust ability. Uh, there, this one, like for Sporcer, right? Uh, what it does is that it removes two armor from all of your opponent's monsters. So, if your opponent is relying on that additional two armor for them to survive, the initial onslaught of your team well they are in for a surprise because four sorcerers rust can easily take out their armor and their uh, backline hitters before they can even say sporcer 
whoever named this card is awesome. Okay, kudos to you. Whoever named this card, um, you're awesome. You're awesome. Anyways, uh, one other card that maybe you can think I uh, take advantage of as well is this card, Weirding Warrior, because it gets Shatter at level one. In the higher leagues, it gets Rust, of course. But in the lower league, it gets Shatter. Shatter destroys your opponent's armor right away. Uh, it doesn't matter how many armors they have. If they have 5 armor and your Weirder Warrior only deals 1 damage, it doesn't matter. It will automatically kill your opponent's entire armor pool and gets to their HP right away. So, think of that, okay? Uh, Time Mage as well in the Gold League gets Rust. I have used this before. It is an awesome strategy. Especially against, against those people that uses Queen Mycelia. Because Queen Mycelia takes advantage of her Protect ability, giving 2 armor to everyone, right? Now, the onto the main strategy. Yes, those are just teasers, my friend. Those are the, not the real strategy that we use uh, for, for armored up, up rule set, okay? Because why worry about armor if you can just, if you can just navigate around it, right? And like I said earlier, the only thing, the only damage that armor uh, negates are melee and range. So there's one kind of damage in Splinterlands that armor is totally ignored, and that is magic. And that is what I want to really share with you today. If you have the armored up rule set, I want you to take advantage of magic damage, my friend. Even if you do not have the best monster fielded, so long as it has um magic damage at least it will ignore a lot of your opponent's defense right uh one thing in mind is um for the life team and is super cheap would be Jin renova i love Jin renova especially in the silver league because it gets three hp now there's another use for Jin renova for this rule set but i'm gonna share with you in a bit Jinra Nova at Silver League at level 3 gets 3 magic damage. That means it ignores their 2 armor, your opponent's 2 armor, and deals 3 damage to their front line right away. So that's awesome. Other life monsters that works really well is um, Time Mage. Time Mage at level 3 okay, gets 2 magic damage. Okay, 2 magic damage for 4 mana is super awesome. And because it has that slow ability, it will ensure that your monsters will be hitting first before your opponent can deal even damn, can even do anything about it. So that is awesome. Now, I just want to give a shout, special shout out to General Sloan, okay? Because General Sloan did not get a lot of love, and I know, I know, it is a range damage, so maybe it's not the best when it comes to armored up. But there's benefit to using General Sloan because General Sloan is just the epitome of da raw damage, right? And in tandem with that Felicor Arbalest I mentioned earlier, Felicor Arbalest gets 3 range damage and it hits twice. And the advantage of that is that Felicor Arbalest can hit one time and remove your opponent's armor and then hit again to kill them, okay? I cannot under under I cannot underestimate how strong General Sloan is in this kinds of rule set. Your opponent would think that they have enough armor to support their their team, but because of General Sloan raw offensive prowess due to that plus one range, your range monsters can easily kill your opponent even if they have a lot of armor. Uh, but yeah, that's just a secondary strategy. It would still be the uh, magic damage that is the uh, that is the real strategy. Uh, for this rule set now what if your opponent is using magic damage as well right what if they know they've seen this video or even if they didn't but they know exactly how to play around it uh, of course they will be using magic damage as well Wh how can you deal with it well let's go back to that Jin Renovi what that my, I mentioned earlier since your opponent will be ignoring your armor anyway might as well buff your HP right while you're dealing damage to them and that's where Jin Renova comes in. Jin Renova's ability is called Strengthen, and it adds plus one HP to all of your monsters. So even though your monsters, uh, mag your monsters uh, armor will not factor to your opponent's magic damage, at least Jin Renova will be giving you support with that plus one HP. 
Um, though, the cream of the crop when it comes to this uh, anti-magic in armored armored up rule set summoner, uh, the strategy really is to use one of my favorite summoner here is Legion Thaddeus Brood. Okay, Thaddeus Brood works wonders. I mean, I know not a lot of us can afford Ouster. I can't afford Ouster. If I have, if I can buy a level four Ouster, I will use this one in the Silver League because that magical effect just works. But uh, Thaddeus Brood will do. It's super cheap. It's less than two dollars per BCX, and you can just get twenty five of them to get to level four for your Silver League if ever you play on Silver like I do. Uh, what's awesome about Thaddeus is that it gives your opponent a debuff of minus one magic. And as what I mentioned, if your opponent knows what they're doing, they will be using magic damage as well to ignore your armored up buff. So if they're relying on their magic damage, you can just use that minus one armor, minus one magic to limit their damage, giving you the damage edge, right? Both of you will be ignoring armor, but you will be dealing more damage than them. And Thaddeus Brood also gives minus one HP, not minus one or minus two armor. That's minus one HP. So this is basically an additional plus one damage to your magic dealers because you do not have to deal with that additional HP that your opponent's monster has. Um, basically, when it comes to the armored up rule set, Thaddeus Brood is the for me the cheapest and best summoners that basically the most cost efficient summoner to use it's basically a two damage differential against your opponent right unless you're using thaddeus brood as well of course uh, because this one gives your opponent minus one magic and it gives you basically a plus one magic because of that minus one hp uh so use thaddeus brood if there's armored up and it can win you the game now there's one other thing that i want to talk about before i end the video and that is the poison ability. Yes, you heard that right. The poison ability is super useful in armored up, in armored up rule set. I have my Venera Bonesmith here. is one of my favorite cheap cards because you know you can basically get it for free from your daily rewards. But at level four, it becomes a poor man's man's doctor blight. It gets poison at level four. Why is poison useful in armored up? You say? Well, as long as you hit your opponent, there's a chance for you to deal poison damage. And that poison damage ignores armor, okay? So, it doesn't matter how much armor they have. So long as your poison triggers, it's death for them, okay? So yeah, I just want to talk about that. If you do not have um, a Doctor Blight, because you wouldn't have... Uh, you can use the Venary Bonesman Poison ability instead. Yeah, so that is the strategies that I want to share with you today. I, I'm sorry if the video took a bit too long, but I want to share with you as much information as I can in a shorter amount of time. Just to give you a quick of a recap before I let you go, we talked about uh, Poison ability being useful against armor. Uh, magic damage is the key, so ignore the armored up rule set. Uh, Thaddeus Brood is the best, cheapest, best, cheapest summoner you can ever use for this rule set because it's essentially a plus two magic damage um, against your opponent. And um, buff your HP uh, with the strengthen or with any summoner that buffs your HP, uh, especially if your opponent knows what they're doing and they're using an armor, uh, uh, a magic damaging team as well. Okay. Oh, and the last one would be use the rust ability so your opponent cannot uh, take advantage of the armored up buff, okay? For you though, if you want to take advantage of the armored up buff, you can use damage, high damage dealing backline because they will be protected by that plus two armor. And special shout out to General Sloan and uh, Helicor Arbalist because that double strike can deal with your opponent's armor first and then still kill them with that second hit, right? Yeah, that's it for me for today. I hope this video has been helpful for you. If you have any other questions, please do let me know. I'm always here reading your comments. I try my best to reply to most of them. And if you have any other concerns, feel free to drop them in the comments. If we can cover them in an entirely separate video, we will do so. If you want um, other contents like this, feeding, being fed to you by YouTube, 
please subscribe to the channel like the video and maybe hit that notification bell as well so you always get the videos that i upload in uh um, when, whenever i upload them okay thank you for hanging out the name is chev also known as the furious chicken and i will be back with another one real soon goodbye